Okay, I got my hammer, got the remote. Let's do this. Oh, that is such bullshit. Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, my name's John from Two Angry Ducks. Today we have the new trailer for Thor Ragnarok. Yeah! Which I'm very excited to see, something very near and dear to my heart. Uh, quite literally, if you couldn't tell uh, the face you're seeing right Hey all. Well, we got Thor. We have him teaming up with the Hulk. Uh, we have Hela, who could be a very interesting villain later on. I'll get into that later if what I believe is true. I'm excited to see the Hulk. I'm not sure how he got there from a terrestrial-based plane, but we will see. Hopefully in this trailer. Uh, Loki's in charge of Asgard now, so we'll see where that goes. And I don't want to hold anybody up anymore. It's going to be great. Let's just watch this. Oh, hold on. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? It's like... Satanic Spider-Man? It's a long story. How the hell did she do that? <laughs> she broke his hammer. Yeah, Heimdall. Oh. I give you. It's about damn time you showed the freaking helmet again. Incredible! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we know each other. He's a friend from work. Oh, I don't look like a friend to me, man. Yes! Oh, that was great. Oh, that was great. Okay, um, lots of thoughts first and foremost. Uh, you got Thor, you got Hulk. Uh, I saw Valkyrie, I saw Kate Blanchett, I saw Loki again, but we knew he was coming back anyway. But this looks like it answers a lot of our questions. We see why Thor wasn't a part of uh, Civil War. Hi there. Looks like Thor, a uh, new haircut because he is a prisoner on a new planet. There's an interesting aesthetic design. It's very poppy, very colorful. That combined with the fact that the planet they're on looks like it was a uh, the alien equivalent of a bag of Skittles. And I think that we have a very interesting movie set here. He's got an interesting Braveheart kind of thing going on here. Like he kind of got uh, like two streaks of lipstick down his face over here. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. Uh, he had a very betrayed look on there with Valkyrie. Uh, who is an Asgardian character who somehow wound up on this world, not sure how. Uh, probably has some gambling debts with uh, Jeff Goldblum's character. What have you brought today? Tell me. A contender. It looks like Thor Ragnarok is going to be borrowing from the Planet Hulk storyline, which is totally fine with me. It's a great story, and I know because Universal still retains some rights to the Hulk solo films, uh, Marvel will never be able to truly enact uh, a Planet Hulk movie all in and of itself. <laughs> This is a great way to sneak in a, a classic Hulk storyline, still have Hulk in there, and make sure that the fans get what was really a cool, cool storyline. Uh, Hulk gets fired off of Earth uh, to another planet where they think he's going to be safe, and like everything else in comics, of course it goes wrong very, very fast. Hulk winds up on a planet uh, full of stuff that can beat him, kill him, maim him. If Earth is like a 5, as far as the violence goes, this place is a 10. It looks like they've just had Hulk or Thor placed into the Hulk role, and Hulk is going to be taking the Silver Surfer's role in that comic. And now we find out in this trailer that it's actually Hela who breaks his hammer. Now, Hela looks like she's going to be a badass woman. She stopped Mjolnir in midair and then destroyed it with a touch. No! Uh, with that kind of power level that we're seeing here and the badass streak they're trying to start her off here with, uh, I have no doubt in my mind that they are grooming her to be the love interest of Thanos as the representation of death in the Marvel Universe. Thanos has a very unhealthy obsession with death and the female personification of her in Marvel Comics. Now, since you can't just have a super hot chick with a skull face running around on screen for three hours, it's my belief that they're taking Hela here, uh, who looks like a gothic vampire stripper. Uh, I think that that is highly likely for her character. And the reality of the situation is, if you're going to fall in love or, or, or pursue romantically something like death, uh, not that I would personally want to do it, uh, but you're going to need a lot of power to do that. And that is exactly what it seems Thanos is aiming to do here uh, with this collection of the Infinity Gauntlet and the Infinity Stones. My apologies to Vision's forehead. I know it's not going to end well. We still haven't seen Sir Anthony Hopkins. He's, he, uh, he's got to be there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure what Loki did with him. Because at the end of the last movie, Loki fakes his death, and then before you know it, he's back at the end of the movie in Asgard pretending to be Odin. So did he fake his death, teleport out of there, go back to Asgard, knock Odin out on the head, drag him into the closet, make sure he's hogtied, lock the closet, go back out, wait for Thor to get there, put on the guise of Odin, and then offer the throne to Thor, which if Thor had taken the throne, he'd have been pretty screwed there. But since Thor turned it down to go make out with Jane Foster, 
He's totally fine and gets to make a way for a sequel, but that still does not answer the question of where the hell is Sir Anthony Hopkins, but I'm sure we'll find out. Well, thank you guys for hearing me out. Um, that's about all I have to say on this. I'm just excited for November. I hope you guys are too. If you like what you saw, please like it below. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing more trailer reviews. We'll have sample box stuff on a monthly basis and uh, just overall some good stuff on the channel. So if you like it, stick around. If you want to leave a comment, please do. I love to discuss Marvel. I've been a comic fan for years and years, so anything you need to know, ask me. I'd love to see if I can take a crack at it. Thanks Thanks again guys for watching and you have a good day. Hold on guys.